leather mini dresses, a splash of sequins and lots of black. The 1980s were the inspiration for label Yves Saint Laurent on the Paris runway, while at Lanvin it was all about refined elegance. Paris Fashion Week is in full swing and trend watchers are loving it. There's a real sense of euphoria in the city, everywhere. It's amazing. There's no mistaking it's Fashion Week. It's Paris, the romance. Everyone loves coming. Few cities evoke a sense of style like Paris. The French capital is home to some of the world's oldest luxury houses, including Chanel, Christian Dior and Givenchy. But it's difficult for many young French designers to launch their own brands, and among those who do, not many are internationally recognized. Many in the industry say that one of the big problems is that for decades, fashion students in France have been taught craftsmanship, but no entrepreneurial know-how preparing them for a job in an established fashion house rather than encouraging them to start their own business. If you go to design school, you just hang out with design people. If you go to business school, you just hang out with business people. So the connection between the two is harder. But things are changing. There are plans for new business-friendly fashion courses and more state and industry support for young designers. This space is the initiative of the French Fashion Federation to showcase some of the country's new talent. It's a unique opportunity for more than a dozen young designers to show their collections to international buyers during Paris Fashion Week. I got inspired from a vintage menswear garment. So I, we revisited a lot of menswear traditional outfits like the jumpsuit or the, the trench coat. Coralie Maribel worked for several big-name designers before starting her own label. People are really looking at young designers, so it's, it's really the right moment to start. I think it's quite good for us as well. Patricia Lera, who's behind the showroom project, says supporting new talent is fundamental to assuring the future of France's fashion industry. We really need young designers because the fashion industry really needs new creativity. But these designers are rarely ready for the marketplace, so they need experts and organizations like this to support them in their work. Coralie has no regrets about branching out alone and hopes that one day her clothes will be worn by women around the world. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.